How to bathe your dog. Let us educate you on the finer points of dog bathing for the next time Spot comes home smelling of sewage and rotten bird seed. You will need a tub, sink, or basin, a spray hose or a large plastic pitcher, dog shampoo, a washcloth or sponge, cotton balls, towels, and a dog brush. Optional, a collar, and a human helper. Step one, prepare a bath by adding three to four inches of warm water to the tub, sink, or basin. Line the tub with a towel to keep the dog's feet from skidding. Step two, put the dog into his bath. He will likely resist, so stay firm. Step three, use a spray hose or a large plastic pitcher to thoroughly wet your pet. Be sure not to get water directly in the dog's eyes, ears, or nose. Leave your dog's collar on to help you hang on to him if he tries to flee. Another pair of hands will also help if your dog is especially large or wriggly. Step four, working from head to tail, gently massage the shampoo throughout the dog's coat. Speak soothingly to your dog while you're working to help calm him down. Step five, use the sponge or washcloth on the dog's grimiest areas, his underbelly, the insides of his legs, and of course, that ever wagging tail. Step six, using the hose or pitcher again, rinse him off. Take care to do so completely. Dried shampoo can seriously irritate a dog's skin. Step seven, check the insides of his ears. If necessary, clean them gently with dampened cotton balls. Step eight, dry him as much as possible with a clean towel. No matter how dry you think you've gotten your dog, be prepared. He'll shake himself like mad the minute he gets a chance. Step nine, give your dog a quick brush to release any small tangles and then set him free. He'll probably go roll around in the dirt to celebrate. Did you know Portuguese water dogs were originally bred to herd schools of fish and retrieve broken nets from the sea?